there, everybody. Welcome to a new series with Iconic, Iconically Crafted with mixologist Ryan Jacobson. Hello, hello. Yep, thanks for being here, Ryan. Thanks so, for having me. So we've had Ryan on before, and he's a fabulous mixologist who puts together some pretty neat cocktails. So I do my best. Yep, so our listeners and viewers and readers all alike love mixology and love recipes. So today, you're going to teach us how to make three drinks. Here we are. We're going to do three flavored whiskeys today. Uh, we have a new brand that we're going to introduce with you. Introducing Tell us all about it. Whiskey Smith Co. And so we've got three flavors, chocolate, banana, and pineapple. Um, hey, right. It looks like the pineapple's already been opened. Well, I can nor confirm nor deny. So we had to do a little bit of test to make sure everything was all right. And a little okay. testing. A little bit of testing. All right, so today we're going to do our first drink right with the chocolate flavored whiskey. We are. We're going to make a chocolate old fashioned today, actually. Ooh. Who doesn't like old fashions? Anybody yeah. who knows me knows that I'm a big fan. Yeah. All right, so how do we get started? What do we, what do we need? Well, what we're going to want to do is talk about tools first. Okay. We always talk about tools and dive into our toolbox. We want to make sure that we get squared away first with what we need to make the drink. Uh, first and foremost, clear ice. We've always talked about that. Always got to have a clear ice ball, especially with um, we're going to need a couple of tools. We're going to need a jigger. We're going to need a Hawthorne strainer. We're going to need a Boston shaker. Or some of you have one that looks similar to this and it's got a little hat on the top. It looks like a, uh, a martini shaker. It's probably above your microwave. You probably never use it. But we're going to bring it out today. It looks similar to mine. Perfect. We're also going to need like some orange. orange. Do you like that copper? I do. Yeah, it's copper. It's nice. Nice, nice tools. tools. Well, new to me. Special for iconic. It is special, I'll tell you. We've been working on our bar, as you can see, we've got a couple new additions. We'll dive into that another day. We are at the Alchemy Bar, by the way. Thank you very much. Yes, we are. Uh, we have orange bitters, and we have some dry curacao, and we also have our chocolate uh, flavored whiskey. You know, we've got some ice set up here, and then we've got some garnish. So we've got all of our tools set up. Awesome. What are we garnishing with? That looks really delicious. Well, I'll tell you. Do you want to know now or do you want to be a surprise? Oh, surprise. Okay. Surprise. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So let's get started. We're going to take this. And uh, because this is a whiskey drink, we're not going to shake it, but we're going to use the Hawthorne strainer just to mix. We can use a glass, uh, a glass mixer. And I have one here. Uh, they look like this. This is what I normally use. And maybe I'll use the glass today just because it's clear so everybody can see what I'm doing. Yep, and so, so why do we why do we not shake a whiskey really hard? Well, we don't shake brown whiskey because it'll actually bruise the whiskey. Once you start aerating the whiskey, it's gonna change the flavor profile. It's gonna not, Okay, everybody, do not bruise the don't whiskey. Don't bruise your whiskey. Okay. Don't bruise your whiskey. Got Hashtag it. don't, don't bruise, bruise your whiskey. whiskey. So actually we're gonna start today with a clear glass, and it's gonna be real easy. Uh, the the um, chocolate whiskey, whiskey. Said, chocolate, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to use two ounces. Jigger on this side is one ounce, and this side is two ounce. So we're going to go ahead and dump in two ounces. See that little line in there? Yep, okay. And we're going to cheat a little bit. That's a little make... extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's keeping track? <laughs> uh, half ounce of dry curacao. Dry curacao, if you don't have this, you can use, uh, sometimes you may have uh, just like an orange bitters, which we can use here, or you might even have uh, another orange flavor, I call it. So you might have this as well. It will work just the same. With this mix, I felt that the dry curacao would work the best. So we're going to do a half ounce. You know, those little lines inside. That's going to be a half ounce. And then we're going to take some ice. Use good ice. Don't use the ice from your refrigerator. Go to the store and get some good ice. Yeah, use good ice. Where do you get your ice, Ryan? Actually, this ice I get at Fry's. Because it's clear, it's, it's reverse osmosis and it's triple distilled. So it's clear. Don't use junk ice, folks. Ugh. It ruins your whiskey. Grab your big mixer, the biggest one you can find. And I told you, remember how why it's twisted? I know. Well, tell, tell our viewers here. So all the mixing sp uh, spoons are twisted. If you actually hold it kind of like a pencil in your hand and just let it spin within your hand, it actually spins itself because you don't want to hold on to it. Because what does that do? It, it bruises the whiskey. Right. See, she can be taught. Wow, got it. All right, I'm learning, I'm learning a lot today. So we're going to mix this up real nice. Uh, real easy. Don't get crazy. All we're trying to do is just chill it. Whiskey's better cold. And what this also does is dilutes it just a little bit. You want to dilute it a little bit. Just take some of the heat off the top. Do you smell that chocolate? I do. Yeah, that smells good. good. 
All right, we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna grab our Hawthorne strainer, and we're gonna grab, grab our ice ball that we have pre-made. We're gonna strain right in there. Ooh, it smells good, you know what you're pouring. All right, come on. Nice. And then here comes the garnish. The garnish! It's so fun, I used to kick that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> come on. I'm just gonna stick that right on top. Oh, cute! I love it. Let me get a straw and taste it. Ah, oh, nice. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, straw for me. That's so good. No, this is your drink. Have at it. Okay, no, this okay. is all you. Oh, this is mine. This is you. All right, guys. Have at it. Cheers. It's called the chocolate. Whoa, old fashioned. It is the whoa old fashioned. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Oh wow, that's very desserty. It is. This is perfect mm. for after dinner. It kind of lingers on the palate. So it does, and the chocolate flavor is so upfront. Mm. Love it. It's right. actually, and it's, it's it's blended really well. I'm, I'm a big fan. So like this it. is a fun one. So I don't, as we've discussed before, I don't drink a lot of hard alcohol, and so I'm kind of getting my palate used to some of this. So this feels kind of entry level to me. It does. So here the thing is, when you have normal whiskeys, you're usually about 44 to 55 percent alcohol. This is only 30. So it makes it really easy to drink, very palatable, tons of flavor up front. It makes it fun, so you can still have a good cocktail whiskey. But this is a really yeah. good, easy drink to drink. Yeah, I think this would be really nice after dinner. They did well. All right, well, good yeah. job, Ryan. Thanks for this yeah, one. Absolutely.